Hey everyone, welcome to Franny's Square and to part two of the Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend tote bag tutorial. That's a mouthful. Okay, so today what we're gonna be working on is making the border that covers up the ends of our fabric, which we just left hanging there. And this border serves two purposes. One, it covers up the ends, as I just said. And two, it creates the sides and the bottom of your bag. A word of warning. This is the most difficult part of mosaic crochet, and I've seen it done several different ways. I tried to distill this down to as few steps as possible. Now, doing the border is not an exact science, so you have to be comfortable with just making it work especially for the first row of your border on each side. After the first row, it's a piece of cake. I guarantee it, and I'll explain why. As you go down the sides of your bag, you're going to be creating stitches in each row. So you're just gonna be trying to grab the posts going down and keeping it as straight as possible. When you get to the bottom of your bag, you have individual stitches, you have no ends, so that's gonna be really easy. And then you'll go up the other side of your bag where again, you have to do the rows and just try to keep your stitches as straight as possible. I'm gonna lead you through that process. Just keep that in mind that you're just trying to keep it as straight as possible and finding a spot to put a stitch. Now, when you get to your second row, of double crochets for your border, it's gonna be easy because you're just gonna go into the tops of your previous stitches. So that'll be just like your regular crocheting. I just wanted to give you that warning so that you know you're just trying to make a straight line. And the other difficult part of that is kind of keeping the fringes out of your way as you're doing that. When you get to the second row of it, they're pretty much out of your way. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna get our borders done and slip stitch together so that we'll have sides and bottoms of our bag. And I'm still working on getting rings for the handle to change up my handle. As I said in part one of the tutorial, I wasn't exactly thrilled with the crocheted ring, so I wanna change that up. So that's what I'm working on right now. And then I will post part three of the tutorial. One note, when I was doing the Greek key border, the mosaic border tutorial, I asked for ideas about what to make for our first mosaic project. And a lot of you said bags. Uh, one of our subscribers, Rhonda Priest, suggested doing mosaic in the round, which I would like to do. And as a matter of fact, I did a small sample of it in the round because I was debating which way to do our first tutorial. So I, I had made a little sample going in the round. And the reason that I didn't choose that one for the first project is because I wanted to teach part two, which is covering up the ends with a border. When you go in the round, you don't have a border and it's a different way of doing it and you do have less ends. So we will do a mosaic in the round for our next project and it's either going to be a basket or another bag. Uh, you can let me know below which you'd prefer, a basket or a bag. And I've been dying to try the um, bag or basket bottoms that you can buy in leather as a stronger base. So I think for that project, I'm going to purchase one of those and see how that works. So thank you, Rhonda, for that suggestion. I just wanted to let you know why I chose to do the bag this way this time because I had promised that I would teach you how to make that border that covers up the ends. I'm really excited that some of you have told me you're following along, and I hope that you'll send pictures of your finished bags in so that I can put them up in the show and tell videos. All right, so let's get started on our border. Once you finish crocheting the size bag you want, this is my piece here. I ended up doing three rows of the pattern. I was gonna do four, but I decided, I decided to stop at three. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to tie, take your fringe, and just tie the pieces together. Now, lay them out, and you're gonna tie 
just the two that are next to each other together. And this is just to make sure it doesn't come undone. And you're gonna do that all the way up. Now you may have three at the very end, at the top, that's fine. All you'll do is take two of them together and tie it with the other one. This is simply to make sure that it doesn't come undone and it's not gonna show. So you don't have to worry about that. So you wanna do that all the way up. And you wanna do it on both pieces, your front piece and your back piece. By now you should have your two pieces made. Here's my other one over here. <laughs> I should probably zoom out to show you both pieces. I don't know if you can see it all. There's my one piece. Here's my other one, which I've already trimmed the fringe on. So it's the front and back of my bag. I'm trying to film this in a different way, so let me know if this is clearer for you to see what I'm doing. Okay, and I'm just gonna continue knotting all the way up. Keep doing that and I'll meet you when you get to the top. Okay, so now here I am at the top and I have three left. So I'm just gonna take two of them together and tie it with the other one, just like that. Okay, now once you have all of your fringes tied, you wanna just lay them out like this. And you're gonna grab your scissors and just trim. And I like to make it pretty short, like about that long. We're gonna end up covering all these fringes up. So it's just easier to work with when they're short. Give it a little haircut. There we go. So there's my one side, and we're going to do that to the other side and to both pieces. So just turn it over and do the other side, and I will meet you when you are done. Okay. So now that we've trimmed our fringes and we have the knots in, we're going to take the color that we're going to use for our trim color and make a slip knot. And we're going to, on our piece here, know which part is your top. This is my top, so I'm not putting a border there. I'm gonna go around these three sides, each side and my bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the one side. Just going into this first stitch here, I'm going to Pull my border color through the slip knot here. There we go. And the toughest part is keeping the fringe out of your way, but I just keep kind of pushing it down. Okay, so I'm going to chain to attach and then I'm going to chain twice more. And since that's my corner stitch, I'm also going to do a double crochet in that corner. There we go. Then what I'm gonna do is double crochet into each stitch going down the side of my bag here. Double crochet, just trying to keep these fringes out of the way. 
That is by far the toughest part of this. Once, <clears throat> once we get finished this first row of border, it won't be bad, but this is the toughest part. And just double crochet all the way down. And you're going to keep crocheting, double crocheting into every row because these are the ends of your rows. So I just did this one. Now I'm going to go in here all the way down. Just like that. Okay, and you'll see this. And you're going to do that all the way to the bottom. And I'll meet you there. Okay, so now I've gone down my side and I'm at the bottom here. What I want to do is make a corner. So I'm going to go into, let's see, I went here. I'm going to go into the next one here. Do my double crochet like I've been doing. Now I'm going to right here at the bottom, double crochet two more times into that same stitch. One, two. It's just so I can turn the corner here. And now this side is much easier because I don't have fringe on it. So you get a little reprieve from that. And I'm just going to double crochet into each stitch all the way down like that until I get to the other side at which point in that corner I'll do three double crochets and work my way back up the other side the same way we just did the last side okay so we have our corner here you can see that and we're just working across and then we'll work all the way up the other side and I will meet you back at the top of the other side. Okay, so I've just gotten to the top of the other side. So you can see I have the border all the way around. Now what I'm gonna do is from, just turn my work around. And from this top stitch here, I'm going to chain two and I'm going to double crochet this will be much easier you don't have to worry about your fringes anymore all the way back around into my last row of double crochets just like this so that when we turn it over we're going to have two rows Keep double crocheting all the way down. We want this border to be big enough to cover up our fringes. I'm just going to keep going all the way around. So now if I turn it over here, you'll see I have two rows of double crochets for my border. Okay. Don't forget that when you get to your corner stitch, you're going to do three double crochets in the corner stitch. So I'm the one before the corner stitch here. That's that one, two, three was my last corner stitch so in the center one I'm going to do three double crochets to turn the corner one two and three like that and then just continue my way around 
Just work all the way around and do in your next corner as well. You're going to do the three double crochets and go all the way up your other side and then I'll meet you there. Okay, and then when I get to the very last stitch, well, here's my last two. Here's the double crochet. And then here is my chain two that I started out with. In the top of that chain two, I'm gonna put another double crochet. And then fasten off. So this is what I have. I didn't fasten off yet, but I will. I have two rows of double crochet all the way around. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing on the other side of our piece. And I already did one piece to show you what that looks like. So this is the front, you saw we did that uh, double crochet, two row border. Then on the other side, on this piece, I already did the other double crochet, double border, and then slip stitched it along the edge. So you can see all of the ends are hiding <laughs> between the borders. So that's how that works. Okay. So I didn't do it to this piece, so we could do it together. Here's the back, and you can see my ends. Now, I've cut them really short. I would not suggest doing that. I just did that so that you would be able to see more easily what I'm doing. Make sure your knots are tied tightly. I did double knots on each one. I don't want, to, I don't want them to come undone. All right, so when we're doing this, I'm going to start at the one end and go all the way around, just like we did on the other side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just brush my ends up. And like I said, I made mine really short. I just wanted you to be able to see what I'm doing, but they're knotted very tightly. In the end, it's great if your ends are shorter than your border. It's easy to tuck them in. If not, just kind of push them down when you're sewing your border together. But you'll see that when we get there. All right, so I'm going to take my border color and slip knot. Okay. Now, the back side of this can be a little bit more difficult, but you'll get the hang of it, I promise. Okay, so I am going to start, and I'm gonna be going in this row below my knots, okay? So I'm gonna start right here, and I'm gonna pull my slip knot through, and then chain to attach, and two more chains. And then I'm gonna do another double crochet right into that space. All right, now, if you look here, my knotted ends are right there. I'm gonna push them up, and I'm gonna work double crochets. So I'm gonna wrap my yarn, go in under this post, right there, see I'm under my knot, and double crochet. And here's my next one. Just go in under there and double crochet. And I'm going to keep going all the way down. Keep my knots up. Anytime I see a knot, I'm going below it. Just basically going around the posts all along. There's my knot. I want to go below it. 
Now, I like to turn my work over and look at it and just make sure I'm going down, straight down. Okay, I'm gonna continue along here. Double crochet behind the next post. Double crochet. I just keep going like that all the way down. And you see, I'm starting to get my border. Just remember, as you're going down, you're always going into that same row. <clears throat> Sometimes it's hard to find the, not every stitch looks exactly the same. So like right here, I'm just gonna go right in there. But just, you wanna keep it along the same line. So just keep watching for that. And then on the other side, it'll create an even line going down. So if you look at a finished piece, you'll see I have an even line there, just going down my work. Okay. So just keep finding spots to insert along that same row and push up your ends as you go. I just keep finding the next spot that's good along the same line because it isn't the same stitches all along. So you're really kind of making your own spots to go into, but just try to keep it pretty straight. It's basically a front post double crochet. So I'm finding the next post that I can go around. I go behind the post, come out front of the post and do my double crochet. So just keep finding posts all the way down. So here's my knot and the next spot looking good to me is like this post here. So it's not exact, but as long as you do it pretty straight, it will come out looking nice. Like that. Okay, so I'm getting to the corner here. And I wanna make sure my ends are up. And I can see my corner here is these three stitches so my corner's right here. So I still have another stitch down here. Okay, just push that tail out of the way. Now when I get to these corner ones here, as we turn this, uh, this row is going to be so easy. You're going to be working in stitches. And right here, you just have these down here. So I'm going to hook onto the bottom of these stitches. So I'm going to do a double crochet here. And then for this one right here, Right around it and do three. One, two, to turn my corner, and three, all onto the same space. And now I'm gonna be turning, and I'll do one here. Now, since these along the bottom are just regular stitches, it's very simple. I'm gonna go around the posts of the stitches. I'm just doing a front post, double crochet all the way down till I get to the next corner 
at which point I'm going to do the three to turn the corner into one stitch. Three double crochets into one stitch. This is a breeze, right, after doing that other side. I have one more side like that other side, and then I promise it's a piece of cake from there. Okay, so continue along. I'll meet you at the next corner. Okay, so I've gotten to the next corner. Right here you can see the three stitches in the corner, and this is my corner stitch. So I'm going to do three stitches in this corner. Here are three double crochets to turn the corner. All around that post. And then I'm going to turn over here. And here's where I get back into doing the same thing again. Here are my knots. So I'm going to want to go around the posts below the knots. Okay? And remember, this is not an exact science up this side here. You're just doing the best you can to get in the posts below the knots so that you can cover up the knots. And this is the back side. So the important part is that you're going straight across in the same area so that on the other side, it looks like a straight line. So, you know, just keep turning over your work Checking sure to make sure it looks pretty straight across on the other side, because that's where it's going to show. And you're going to continue this all the way up this side here, just like you did on the other side. And when you get to the top, I will meet you there. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of this row here. Just going up along the same line right there. You start to get used to what you're looking at. going into the last stitch right here along that line. I'm going to chain up two and turn my work and just make sure that your line here is looking pretty straight. That looks good to me. That means I came through okay. And now what I'm going to do, just push this side down and I'm gonna go back along my stitches, which is much easier. So I'm gonna do a double crochet into that same stitch at the bottom of my chain. There we go. And then I'm gonna double crochet down in each stitch. So this part will be easy. You're just gonna go into each stitch and do your double crochet. And you're gonna do that all the way around back to the other side and then what's gonna happen is, we're just gonna close these up and slip stitch them together. But first go around into every stitch, doing the double crochet. You are on easy street now. The hard part is over. And don't forget that when you get to your corners, you're gonna to wanna to do the three double crochets in that corner stitch to turn your corner. It'll give you a nice rounded corner for your bag. I'll meet you at the first corner, so I'll show you what I'm doing there and then we can continue on. You can see here 
that my corner stitch is one, two, three. So in this one here, I already made one stitch. I'm going to do two more. To turn the corner. And then I'll just continue along in the next stitch. And all the way around. Okay, I will meet you at the other side. Okay, so I just finished my last double crochet stitch. I'm going to go into the top of the chain that I started at the beginning. And that'll be my very last double crochet. Okay, then all I'm going to do is turn my work and I'm going to line up both sides. And when I do that, just make sure any ends you have are pushed down. Mine are very short, but if yours are longer, push them down so they're hidden inside your border. Okay, and we're just gonna start slip stitching. So I'm gonna go into the first stitch on the other side and pull up a loop and pull it through. And then I'm gonna just go down under each stitch as I go along and slip stitch. And I'm going under the full stitch, under both loops of this stitch. I'm gonna just do that all the way around, closing up the borders and hiding all of those ends. Isn't that a beautiful thing? <laughs> I know it was a little um, difficult, the one part, but I think it was well worth it. There is another method of doing this where you do a slip stitch along the edge before starting to do all your double crochets for the border and it gives you a straight edge. It's probably a neater way of doing it. I just don't like doing that extra step. It takes so long and believe me, when I did the queen size blanket, oh, it felt like forever. So I really do my best to uh, crochet around those posts in what looks like as straight a line as possible. So, but that is an option to first put a slip stitch in as a straight line around your work, double crochet into that slip stitch to make the start of your border. Okay, so we're just gonna go like this all the way around. And I will meet you at the end. Look how beautiful that's looking. Okay, so now we have both of our pieces done, our front and back piece. And because we did the um, and because we did the chain and the double crochet on each end, you should have a nice little curve happening there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put both our pieces together. So we're going to put them right sides together to sew them together. And when we go to sew, you'll notice that each piece has two sides. So you have a stitch up here and you have a stitch back here. If we were to go through both sides on each piece, that would be very thick. That's pretty thick. And I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on the inside stitch of this piece into the inside stitch of this piece so that it's not so thick, and that's how I'm gonna connect it all the way down with single crochets. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make my slip knot as always. And then I'm gonna put my pieces together And 
make sure you're matching up at the top. Then I'm going to go from the inside stitch on the corner to the inside stitch of this piece on the corner. And pull my yarn through. And I'll just chain to attach. And now I'm just gonna go all the way down. This inside stitch here, you can see that there. With this inside stitch here, I'm gonna pull the loop up, single crochet. And I'm gonna continue that all the way down. This inside stitch, let me get this yarn out of the way so you can see. With this inside stitch, pull up the loop, You can see my uh, yarn is splitting a little bit. Okay, and again, the next inside stitch with the next inside stitch, just like that. And you're gonna crochet all the way around your bag, putting it together. like that. You're going to go all the way around and I will meet you at the other side. Okay, so now I've sewn my bag together and you can see the borders sewn together create the sides and the bottom of your bag. Okay, so that's my bag and now we're going to create the handle. Okay, so that's how we do the border. Finish that up slip stitch your sides together, then you'll have the bag and you'll be ready for part three where we'll do the handle. If you have any questions at all, because I know this can be the most difficult part of mosaic crochet, please feel free to leave me questions in the comment section so everybody can see what your questions are and what the answers are. Or if you prefer, you can send me an email to frannysquare at gmail.com. As always, Thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon.